Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm working on a sampler basket that has many stitches. Um, I've done the popcorn stitch, wrapped rose, diamond stitch, tie stitch. Now I'm working on the Carlson combo row. If you can see here, I have done the half the diamond. I've done a straight stitch row, which I'll show in another video. And right now I'm working on the tie stitch part of this. So what I want to show you first, you can see that I'm almost out of thread. So I need to tie on a new thread. When I tie on a new thread, I like to use the hidden thread method. When you're working with the tie stitch, your thread needs to be in the back of your basket. So I'm going to, I need to get my thread tied on so that it comes out in the back. I'm going to use my wax. I'm going to over wax my thread. What that does for me is it makes the color more intense. And when my basket's all finished, I can use a hair dryer and I can uh, loosen the wax a little bit and, and rub it rub it and make it real shiny. I need to <clears throat> get my, I use a second darning needle. I've left this other one. I'm going to needle my threads. So I flatten that out. I hold it between my thumb and index finger and I put the eye of the needle down right over that thread. I'm going to tie a double knot in the end of my thread. One. And another one too. And then I line those. Oops, it didn't line up. Try that again. <clears throat> one more time. Okay. Tie a double knot. One. Two. Get it to line up. Pull it real tight, that one's better. I'm gonna take that little tail and trim it down to about a sixteenth of an inch. <clears throat> what I want this to do now is come out in exactly the same spot as my old thread. So on the front of my basket, I'm gonna go into this V in my tie stitch. I'm going to insert my darning needle in there and I'm going to poke around poke around until I can get it to come out exactly where my old thread was. Okay, I pull that tight. Pull, pull, pull until I can pull that knot right up into the coil. Sometimes it takes some muscle. Pull it right up into that coil until it disappears. Alrighty. Okay, now I can start my tie stitch. I'm gonna just leave that hanging there. I'm gonna start my tie stitch. So I come across the back of the coil at an angle and I hold it with my index finger of my left hand. I insert the thread on the left side of that straight stitch and I come up on the left side. Okay, then I'm going to take my thread up over the top. You can see I'm still holding that index finger. I'm still holding that. What I want to do is go in on the right and come out on the right. As soon as that darning needle's in there, I can pull that tight and let go with my index finger. <clears throat> pull it tight. Okay, I go up over the top and I swing it around between the two coils. Swing it around. Insert it between the coils on the right. Come out on the right. Pull it tight, and there's my tie. You can see my little tie right there. I'm going to just leave that thread again. 
I need to check my coil, see if I need to add pine needles, and I'm fine. I, I twist my gauge a little bit. Okay, I go across the back at an angle. I go in on the left. I come out on the left. Pull it up. I'm still holding that loop with my index finger. I go in on the right. Come out on the right. Now I can let go. My darning needle's in there. Now I can let go and pull it tight. I go up over the top. Okay, I go over the top again. So I've got two threads and I swing it around. I go in between the two coils, go in on the right. Come out on the right. And make my tie. Okay, <clears throat> after I've done a couple stitches, then I can go back and deal with this old thread. What I want to do is bury it, but I want to make sure that I'm crossing some threads. So I'm going to go in kind of across here, go in across there, and come out down below somewhere where I've crossed some threads, come out down there, and I can't pull on that. I'm going to get out my pliers, my handy dandy pliers, and pull that through, pull that through, pull it tight. Now if I pull it taut, and there I have a buried stitch. Okay, let's go back and do another tie stitch. Now I, you can see that my coil is getting loose, so I'm going to insert a pine needle. I'm using southern longleaf pine needles that I have glycerin coated. Oh, and I'm using four ply wax linen thread. Um, southern longleaf pine needles come usually in sections of three and each leaf is a triangular shape. If you kind of roll it, you can see it flattens down. So when you uh, are working with your coil, I insert it way down into the middle of my coil, as far in as I can, so that those ugly heads are hidden. Then if I twist my gauge, you can see how it flattens my coil and I get a nice smooth coil. So that's why I one of the things I like about using a gauge. Let's do another tie stitch. I come across, hold it at an angle. I go in on the left and come out on the left. I'm still holding that loop. I go in on the right, come over the top and go in on the right and come out on the right. Now I can let go. I go up over the top one more time. I swing it around. I go in on the right. Come out on the right. And make my tie. The tie stitch is one of my very favorite stitches and I like it because it's just very relaxing. I think you're not piercing the pine needles all the time so it seems easy to me. Um, I like to start it from a wrapped row. Um, you can get this variegated color look and it's easy to get your stitches evenly spaced. Here's another example where I <clears throat> used the natural color wax linen and then I used green and yellow and made this variegated um, look. A friend of mine painted this base, isn't it pretty? Um, but the, the tie stitch is just versatile and fun and relaxing. So I hope you uh, learn to enjoy it too. Maybe I'll do one more here before we go. You've got your angle. Go in on the left. Come out on the left. Go over the top. Come in on the right. Come out on the right. Let go and pull tight. Go over the top, swing it around, go in on the right, come out on the right, and make your tie. There you go, the tie stitch. 
Hope you enjoyed that and come back and see me again. Bye.